uh, but I couldn't really find a way to actually disable this. So we need to find a way to include um, th something in our code that's going to say temporarily remove it. Now what we're going to do here is just before we show our uh, our div, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to remove the to uh, the tooltip attribute. Uh, well, we're not going to remove it. We're just going to set the value of it to nothing. So we want to say this dot attribute, and in here we want to say title, and we want to set it to nothing here. We've just set it to nothing. So now what's going to happen is when we hover over, we don't get the annoying tooltip appear. The only problem we have now is when we come away, this title attribute is now set to nothing. So when we hover back, oh well, it has worked, but uh, you know, depending on how how everything works, we've we've removed it, we've removed it here, and then we could have some problems later on. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we actually reapply the title to uh, the title attribute a bit later on. So when the mouse comes out, we want to restore the title attribute. Uh, back to its original value. So again, we go this dot attribute, and obviously the attribute is title, and we want to set this to title. Remember the uh, the variable that we took earlier. So although it worked before, we want to make sure that we replace the text uh, before we uh, go ahead and actually uh, uh, actually uh, you know you know. So essentially, what we've done is removed it and then replaced it. Now, uh, there is a problem that this can cause. Let me just go ahead and get rid of the uh, re sort of putting it back in. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this link. Uh, and we'll just do a line break for now. Uh, not very good code, but let's go just ahead and do a line break. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to phpacademy.org. And let's change the title to php or video tutorials. And in here, let's go ahead and just change the text. So now we've got one link underneath each other. Now the problem at the moment is uh, is that you've already probably seen we've got a powerful search engine here and video tutorials here, uh, but when we actually go ahead and hover over both of them, they have the same uh, essentially the same value. So what we want to do is inside inside of our um, plugin.js, uh, we want to go ahead and actually restore this back to its original title. Uh, so in here we want to say this dot attribute and the title set back to the initial title uh, and now when we hover over oh no it's still the same uh, let's go ahead and work out why that might be okay so maybe this is something that I haven't actually thought out um, okay yeah so I uh, I get it um, basically what we've done uh, is we've included this in the wrong place. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and actually put this inside of the mouse move event altogether. Uh, so let's go ahead and just rearrange this around a bit. This is good that we've caused a problem because we can go and actually uh, look at the solution to uh, this where it has the same description for each link when we come in here and when we come in here. So we'll go ahead and obviously this was unplanned but uh, we'll go ahead and change this around a bit. So let's go ahead and just, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of this uh, and I'm going to place this inside of here and now I want to take this loop here or this if statement here and just get rid of it and pull this up uh, and then I want to go ahead and delete this here. So now uh, I'm going to just re sort of indent that or take it back a bit uh, and we can go ahead and apply this if statement inside of here. Right, so um, let's uh, let's take a look at the code as it stands. Okay, we've got nothing, obviously. Um, okay, so this dot mouse move, and then we're grabbing the title attribute uh, of the current element. Uh, so, uh, so now we, what we want to do is this is causing the problem because we're setting the attribute uh, to nothing. I think that should be the problem. Maybe not. Let's go back and just take a look at how this is working. Uh, so let's just run through this again. Uh, we're applying the div afterwards. Uh, the mouse, the mouse move event here. We're grabbing the title uh, from here using the attribute from the currently hovered over link, uh, and that's applied to all uh, href or all uh, a tags. Uh, we're grabbing the top, setting the title. Let's just comment this out for now and see what happens. 
Okay, yeah, so now you can see that uh, that was the problem. We're removing the title attribute. Uh, so we're still getting this sort of at title attribute, you know, sort of pop up. Uh, and also we've still got the problem of this not being removed. Uh, that's not a problem. We can go ahead and just rearrange this. Uh, let's go ahead and cut that and just paste it underneath here so it doesn't interfere with anything. Oh, and it has interfered. Okay, so let's just get rid of that altogether uh, and we'll deal with it as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well. Uh, so hover text.hide when the mouse comes out. Uh, let's just check, yeah, that's working. So we've got the um, we've got the functionality of it working now with both links uh, and it's actually going ahead and taking the title from each one as we wanted it to. Uh, however, we've now got this problem of the hover over tooltip 